Hello everybody, this is Anthony. Uh, just in case you don't know who I am, I'm going to be talking about how I got delivered from being possessed. Um, before I do that, make sure to press the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for near future videos. If you would like to give, um, you may have to go under this video under the word more and press on that uh, if you would like to give. I feel God wants me to get out of my comfort zone. Um, and I was going to do a teachings first um, um, videos, but I feel God wants me to um, make make all my testimonies first. So I will make sure to do that in the near future. Well, before being a Christian, I didn't know anything about the faith, beliefs or the Bible. When I was a born again Christian in the in the end months of 2006, I saw a verse on staying away from psychics and mediums. And so I continued to read um, the Bible's other other words within it. A week later, a relative of mine asks me to take them and drive them to a psychic medium. I did question it, but I gave excuses to myself to just go. And I was afraid that my relative would think I was just being too religious and not taking them. I remember saying to myself that I will take them and just sit away from the reading. When we got there, I sat away from the reading of that relative of mine. And after the reading, the psychic medium looked at me and insisted with urgency for me to get a reading also. I did hesitate. And I said, that's all right. But then through my feelings, I got naive and I heard something say to me, what can go wrong? You got God protecting you. And also with the pressure of my relative and that psychic medium, I did cave in and I got a reading. During the reading, I got depressed and I could not stop crying for a while. And by that night, I got strange dreams, night sweats, and heard voices. And either by that night or early in the morning, I woke up and I got inner pressure within my head. And I sensed something unnormal come within me. And, um, and I was still awake. And I looked around the lightly lit darkened room and I saw coming under the flooring two to three dark shadows floating near me. They were wearing ragged looking dark leaf robes with hoods to hide the features of their faces. And their eyes were like the tips of an orange reddish lighted cigarette. And I, I became paralyzed with fear and I wanted to shout. And then these uh, then they evilly, with an evil hiss, they hissed at me. And then I put my head down not to look at them. And then when I picked up my head a little bit after, they seemed to disappear from my sight. As some, some time went on, I did f fall asleep some. But I continued to hear voices. A feeling like something was coming after me. And I got very paranoid. I couldn't eat. I didn't shower much out of fear. And I could not sleep much. Closer to near dusk, uh, one day, I went outside for some unknown reason. And I saw about 20 yards away from me, the devil. And he was floating. And he was around 5'10". He was kind of slim in body. He was a dark figure. figure and he had horns on his head. He had a faint, he had faint glowing red uh, blood covered eyes. And when he breathed, he breathed heavy. And with every breath, I can sense the deep anger coming out of him. He carried something that looked like a double sided ax with a very long handle uh, that he was holding and, and he was glaring at me. And me being in shock, I want in shocked. I wanted to shout at him and tell him to leave me alone. 
but I couldn't say nothing. And then he disappeared quickly from my sight. Now looking back, uh, the devil could have came to me looking like an angel of light. As it states in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14, in the New King James Version of the Bible. And it says, And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. And that's the end of that scripture. Uh, but he also uh, could have looked like something else instead. But I believe since he came the way he did, because he, uh, I believe since I was, he thought that I was close to the end of my life and that this was a symbolism that he comes as a destroyer to me, as it states in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 in the New King James Version. It says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Okay, now back to the testimony. As I stood there for a moment, I was trying to process everything in my mind. As I went inside a little bit after that, I was still being tormented in my mind and body. I somehow then knocked out on my bed, but however, I still had bad dreams and I was hearing voices and I still had those night sweats. Relatives of mine were confused and concerned for me, so they reached out to people who knew a pastor that can visit me. But before I could get any kind of help, I did, lo I did lose my mind and sanity and I was able I was put into a state hospital for mental trauma. Then after, uh, after being there for about two months and by the help, grace and the love of God, Jesus Christ, I was able to miraculously get out of there. My God's hand on me, even though I made a terrible mistake of getting a reading from a psychic medium. And um, I was able to function a little bit possess I still didn't I still did not eat much and I and I still had bad dreams with night sweats my relatives um, still could see I was I was not right and they invited that pastor to pray over me well I'm gonna stop the video here for now I'm gonna make a part two of this experience experience I had um, I do love you all in the name of Jesus and I'll see you in part two. Bye for now. Thank you.